Welcome Sagittarius to your June reading. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our main energies, the key themes coming through for you for this month. And then I'll go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Now, Sagittarius, there are going to be quite a few messages coming through. If there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, it probably just means that it's not meant to be your reading at this time and you can go ahead and watch your moon, rising and Venus signs readings. The first energy you're getting is good luck. Wonderful, my dear Sagittarius. So we now understand there's going to be an area in your life where you're going to be experiencing good luck. Number 27, fertility comes in and the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative and more joyful than ever before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. Wow, this is going to be so interesting. Then you've got the energy enough is enough and this always tells me that there is some energy it could be a thought it could be a habit it could be a situation or a person something has the energy of enough of this i don't want this any longer and then my dear sagittarius you have the energy of manifestation what an auspicious energy it tells us something that you put up out there into the spiritual plane is now coming down and manifesting on the physical plane. Now Sagittarius, with our core messages, there are times that they are very specific and relate to individual areas of your life. There are times they can be interlinked and there are times we even get one cohesive message. It just depends on how the reading plays out. I'm going to start off by pulling a tarot card for each of your core energies and then we will come back around again and clarify even further to get deeper insight and messages. All right, let's see what we have for you. We have got the chariot, ace of pentacles, the King of Wands and the Five of Cups. So we are going to start off here and we're just going to clarify the chariot for you. So we just want to see now what this chariot energy is for Sagittarius. Knight of Wands. Okay. Sagittarius. I'm getting exactly what is happening, but I want to see if I can get one more card for you, just to see if we can see where this is coming up for you. Sometimes I can get it, and then there are other times, because it is a collective reading, I just get more of a holistic message. So let's see if we can get one more insight with regards to good luck for Sagittarius, please. Nine of Cups. Okay, so we didn't get a very specific energy, but we did get a wonderful confirmation. Now, Sagittarius, I cannot see where this good luck is coming in for you, but there is good luck coming in. You have three exceptionally positive cards confirming this good luck. The first card you've got is the Chariot, and the Chariot speaks to us of fast moving progressive energy and you can see as the horses are moving forward at a good solid pace and as you can see our chariot rider is sitting on top of the carriage he doesn't even have reins he's just looking out 
into his future. He knows he's on track. He knows he's on the right path. And he's got no doubt in terms of where he's heading. The chariot is also a card that speaks to us of success, confirms you're in the right direction. Knight of Wands is telling me the direction that you are moving in is something that speaks too deep inside you, right? This is our Knight of Wands beating the rhythm of her own drum, something that speaks to her, something that calls her, something that gives her this kind of joy. And then our final clarifier, Nine of Cups, tells me whatever this good luck energy is, it's a wish fulfillment, Sagittarius. It has you leaping for joy. Okay, so this really lets me know with our three cards, there's something incredibly lucky and auspicious happening for you. And it's going to give you this kind of joy, this kind of happiness as it transpires and manifests. Wonderful energy we are seeing here. Let's move on now and see what this Ace of Pentacles energy is that is sitting under fertility. Right, let's see now. What is this Ace of Pentacles energy for Sagittarius, please? What is this Ace of Pentacles energy? The Five of Wands. Okay, so we're just going to shift our fertility card on top there. Now, remember when we spoke about fertility, it was the energy of being more open, more courageous, more creative. Under this energy, we see the hand of God coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius, is an opportunity given to you. As with any opportunity, when it's given to you, it is then up to you to nurture it, love it and grow it. Our roots and sprouts coming out from our pentacle tells us there is a lot of potential here. But it's going to need you to now take it and really work it in a way that you want to see it manifest. The interesting energy we are seeing here is our five of wands. And if you can see here, they are in what seems to be a dark cave. And they are working in terms of finding a way out. I feel that whatever this pentacle is, and this pentacle could very much be related to this good luck energy, right? Being given this opportunity, this chance in a new area, a new possibility. And remember, this will be specific for you. So it could be meeting somebody new, your partner now suggesting something new. Let's buy a home together. Let's start a family together. Let's get married. Could be that kind of an energy. It could be the energy to grow something with regards to career, money and finance, a new job, a new business, a partnership. Everybody will be different. But the energy is to be open and be creative. I feel that you have been looking and waiting for this pentacle to appear for some time. With the Five of Wands energy, I feel like you were working towards it. Perhaps you are looking for an answer, a way to do it, a resolution, a solution. But what we see in June, you find that answer, right? The way out of the dark into the light. And this is what it's bringing in for you. So my dear Sagittarius, whatever this is for you, it's something you've wanted for a long time. And my gosh, is good luck shining down on you now. Right, now we want to see who or what this King of Wands energy is that is sitting under enough is enough. Right, let's see now. Who or what is this King of Wands energy for Sagittarius, please? Who or what is this King of Wands energy? The sun. Okay. Sagittarius, I can see what is happening here, but I just want to see if we can get one more message clarifying our King of Wands. 
just want to see who or what is this King of Wands energy for Sagittarius, please. Who or what is this King of Wands energy? Death and rebirth. Okay, so I'm just going to push this over here. So we are now going to concentrate on this energy over here. Sagittarius, I think because you are going to have such an exceptional month in terms of good luck, a manifestation happening, this energy of fertility coming into being, a beautiful opportunity presenting itself. You are going to look at other areas of your life that I feel might not be working for you. For some of my Sagittariuses, there is somebody in your life who is presenting as the King of Wands. This could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, this is an exceptionally confident person. They are dynamic. They are out there. They are opinionated. And they really are used to getting their way. They're used to being able to influence people, people admiring them. Now, what I'm seeing here, my dear Sagittarius, this person is coming through in an energy of enough is enough. So it tells me whoever this person might be for you, it could be in a friendship, a family scenario, at work, it could be your partner, whoever they are for you, you have an energy this month. I don't want to deal with this person anymore. And of course, everybody's reasons are going to be very specific to them. But can you see here, our camel is loaded up to the hilt. I think you have been carrying a lot of stuff with regards to this person. When I say carrying a lot of stuff, I mean you've been swallowing a lot of stuff, just dealing with perhaps certain traits of their character, behavior that has not been good for you or tolerable. But what we see happening in June, death and rebirth, you are going to really put an end to this energy if it's not working for you. This is what our death energy is confirming. Now, how you do it, and if it's just a conversation and you tell them, listen, no more, I'm not going to tolerate this behavior, or if you take a break from them, or if you end the relationship, it's going to be very different for everybody. But the beautiful energy is, is that you end it. You end what is not good for you, what is not working for you, and you start a brand new day, a new beginning. And with the sun coming out, I want you to look at that posture. This, my dear Sagittarius, is how you are going to be feeling when you put your foot down with regards to this energy. You're going to be feeling an immense amount of happiness, positivity and inspiration, right? You just are open and receptive to everything good coming in. And this, I feel, is going to really give you the strength to say, no, thank you. I've got better things that is coming my way. I don't need to tolerate this energy. Very nice energy because it sees you being incredibly strong and incredibly proactive. Wow, Sagittarius, what a month for you. Right, now we're going to see what our Five of Cups energy is with regards to our manifestation energy. Right, let's see now. What is this Five of Cups energy for Sagittarius, please? What is this Five of Cups energy? Three of Pentacles, okay. As we identified in the beginning, there is a manifestation taking place. Now, this manifestation could very well have to do with what we saw here. This Ace of Pentacles coming in for you, this good luck energy. What we are also being told is that there was probably an energy of trying to manifest this previously. This is our Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups tells me this is something that you've wanted to get going. You've wanted to bring about for some time. And you have probably met 
with attempts that didn't go well. Five of Cups tells me the energy of crying over spilt milk. I'll just give you a very simple example. Just say you really want to meet somebody and start a family. And you have been going out there and, you know, dating and having relationships and relationships last a few months, maybe even a few years, but nothing has worked out, which left you feeling this Five of Cups energy. However, what we see happening in June is in June, you really identify this cup right next to you brimming over with opportunity and I feel it's because good luck fertility comes in now. This cup next to you is now seen, recognized and acknowledged and you realize that there is still potential in bringing in this manifestation. Nothing is lost. The Three of Pentacles tells me that you will be manifesting something that has a very solid foundation and that will be around for a very long time. Something that is going to be built and grown with care and appreciation. This could very well be connected to our Ace of Pentacles that we saw coming in. Whatever this is for you, Sagittarius, you now have renewed faith, renewed enthusiasm and excitement as you see this all unfolding in June. This looks like a game-changing month for you, my dear Sagittarius. So, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I'm sending you all so much love.